it used to be that when a person picked up an English baron and are another Western language translation of the Quran, you would find a graven image. But I think maybe about a uh, hundred years ago or something that stopped happening. Um, for a time, this was the only English one available. Um, that was a direct translation. There was a translation from a French translation before this, but the genuine Quran, the Arabian Bible to which this life is prefixed, is the genuine Quran, commonly called the Al Quran of Muhammad, and which was translated into English immediately from the original Arabic. You know, this is a uh, this is the first one to actually do that. Um, there are actually a few ga some gaps that I've pointed out before, and certain at least a few mistranslations. There's probably others that I didn't notice. Um, and inscribed to the right honorable Lord Carteret, one of the lords of. Britannic Majesty's Most Honorable Privy Council in 1734 by George Sale, a gentleman of extraordinary learning. He's said to have been in Arabia for 25 years, so. And a perfect master of the languages, customs, habits, manners, laws, and traditions of the Eastern nations. Oh, that's, that's quite a claim to claim that for even one of those nations in one of the language areas, but it is the only true and legitimate version of the Muslim Bible and could not perhaps be published in a popular form more opportunely than at the present time when the great Muslim governments are all tottering to their very foundations. Yeah, because they're being westernized and they haven't, you know, they weren't really fighting Islamic states. But remember this, the, you know, this is the translation used by some of the founding fathers of America, like Thomas Jefferson. And, um, and their subjects are beginning and the fulfillment of the prophecies of the Holy Scriptures to yield up their faith in Islamism and become converts to the Christian religion. Um, most people are mixes of faith and non-faith of different sorts, but actually, gradually, that's been sort of the opposite. Of course, forcing people into slavery and saying, you're all Christian now or we'll kill you or... Um, it turns out a lot of the American slaves and stuff practiced what was clearly Islam. They would go off and, you know, pray in the garden or they'd meet in this guy's house at a Friday. You know, they'd meet in the one shack on a Friday or something. Um, so we know what they were doing. The beautiful language of the Quran. The Quran is universally allowed to be written with the utmost elegance. And purity of language. It is confessedly the standard of the Arabian tongue. The Muslimin are more orthodox, believe, and are taught by the book itself that it is inimitable by human pen and therefore insisted upon as a permanent miracle, greater than the raising of the dead to life, and alone sufficient to convince the world of its heavenly origin. Now, there's 319 miracles at, by Muhammad, or well, through Muhammad, you could say, greater, uh, I mean, uh, more greaterly uh, uh, testified to than uh, anything about Jesus. And 
the miracles of Jesus were said to have, you know, occurred with others before um, in the same tradition group. If you're going to say he was Jewish or if you're going to say he was some part of the prophetic chain of messiahs and prophets or something, but um, yeah, so even, even they admit that, hey, you know, there isn't better in Arabic in just the linguistic way of saying it.